iba na naman ang hairstyle ni madam. Magsasolve tayo. Handa na ba kayo? I never made it But I know what it takes Someone who it By a mix of emotion Got my statement Hi kiddos, it's me, Mom Shellen, your pre-calculus teacher for this semester. This is a pre-recorded video of the discussion on circles. The solving portion video number one analytical approach so just like what i've told you we would begin with the solving of circles so this is the standard form of equation of a circle it is the quantity of x minus h squared plus the quantity of y minus k quantity squared equals r squared here point hk the point with coordinates hk represents the center of the circle where r represents the radius if you want to see the derivation of the formula it's found on your books on page four so kindly browse your book to be able to see where this came from it actually came from the distance formula and then some modifications there so let's see some applications of this formula we begin with in this video, we would focus on identifying the standard form of equation given center hk and radius r. Again, we would be identifying the standard form. In this first example, I would be solving it and I want you to observe. <coughs> okay! So what we're given is the center at the origin and the radius of 3. Again, we must identify the standard form of equation using the formula that was flashed a while ago. When we say center hk and it's at the origin, when we say the origin, what would be the coordinates of that point? Walang sinabing coordinates, di ba? Pero ang sabi, origin. When we say origin, what would that be? Okay. So, the origin is where your x and y axis meets. That means that the coordinates for that would be 0, 0. So, you have from there, you have arrived at your uh, hk. The value of hk would now be 0 and k would also be 0. Next, according to the given, the measure of the radius is 3. Therefore, your r is 3. Then again, this is the formula for the standard equation. We have the quantity of x minus h squared plus the quantity of y minus k squared equals r squared. We already have a value for h, for k, and for r. What do we do next? Substitute! Very good! So we will be substituting this. Given the formula, sorry, wrong marker. Given the formula x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared equals r squared, we would now be substituting for the values. You already know the value for h, so the value for h, for k, and for r. Okay, we would be substituting for those. Okay, so if we would now substitute, we have x minus h, there is 0, correct, squared, plus y minus k is, according to our given, y is 0, wonderful, and then r is 3, so we substitute that. Squared equals squared. Now we simplify. X minus zero. Zero? No! Pampagising now. X minus zero is X. We retain squared. Simplify. Y minus zero. What would that be now? Okay. Simply Y squared. And three squared, my dear. Three squared is nine. It's not six, no. It's nine. So our answer now would be 
come on, come on. It's x squared plus y squared equals 9. So again, we have our given there. Our equation is x squared plus y squared equals 9. And this is how our circle would look like. The center of the circle is at the origin. And then the measure of the radius is 3. Questions as of now? Now for this portion, you would be solving with me. So on a notebook or in a scratch paper, sa resibo ng uh, grocery ninyo, anywhere there, uh, I want you to answer with me, okay? Try this one. So this time, our given is C is equal to negative 1, 4. So the center has the coordinates negative 1, 4. And the radius is 5. First, I want you to identify the center, uh, sorry, the coordinates of the center, a value for h, for k, and for r. Alright, time's up. Time's up, time's up, time's up. So for the center, we identify h as negative 1 and k as 4. Then for the radius, we have r is equal to 5. Now, again, the standard form of the equation of a circle is x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared equals r squared. What do you do next, given these values here? You would be substituting, correct! So, I'll give you time to substitute. Go. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, you must simplify. Simplify what you could simplify. <laughs> All right, time is up. Let's solve it together. We have x minus h quantity squared plus... Ay, ay na yung ubras. Okay, x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared equals r squared. Let's substitute the values that you have. Okay, so we have for h, which this will be now negative 1 x minus negative 1 quantity squared y minus 4 squared and r uh, would be 5 squared. This is where most of my students make mistakes. I hope you won't repeat that. They usually forget to solve the double negative here. So we have a double negative. What do we do with it? Negative times negative will now be very good. Positive. Tama. Hindi na baling itin positive wag lang tayo. Kadating sa COVID. I hope this pandemic ends. Anyway, going back to our discussion, we have x, your negative 1 here, since you have negative negative, will become positive 1, quantity squared. y minus 4, this would remain. And 5 squared would be 25. Very good. Could we simplify it further? Okay, so this now is our final answer. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. Okay. okay, substitute. So that's what we did a while ago. And that's our final answer. So you would have some try these. So you have to try these on your own. So these are found in your Arrowlinx account. Kindly answer them. And these would also be answered in your compilation so please write them neatly write your complete solution identify the standard form of equation for the following you'll see your video discussions of these examples after you were able to answer them so see you till the next video